Hi everybody, this is Stephanie. I am doing a Traveler's Notebook uh, spread for Tuesday. I like to try and get a Traveler's Notebook spread um, every Tuesday, so if you're just joining in, keep a lookout for <laughs> more spreads, especially some Halloween ones, just because they're stories that I want to document. Traveler's Notebook spreads for me are where I have a smaller story that I want to share, but I don't necessarily want to grab out a 12 by 12 layout or uh, take up too much real estate in my project life. So Traveler's Notebooks are the perfect medium for me to share my monthly uh, stories for every month. So we're jumping right in. I am working with printables, so this is why you see me on a different format. I am working in the silhouette and I'm playing with the stickers from Ghost Like You. It is a printable set from Tracy Reed Designs. Check them out if you are looking for some Halloween goodies uh, in like the traditional colors with hints of pink, which is so crazy, but uh, it works. <laughs> and uh yeah so i pulled out some stickers and i had two different methods that i planned or pre-planned on how i wanted this spread to look you can see there on the right i have uh three two by uh, two photos there i thought i would either do it in um that format with smaller photos or just a collage uh in a four by six of all three photos and i ended up going with the collage it just worked out so much better of course, I'm going to have to cut it in the, the middle, as you can tell, but I just, it it went with the flow, I guess, so. But um, I realized slowly, as you can kind of see it, I'm going in a diagonal from the upper right down to the lower left, and that just worked for me today. And I didn't really see that, honestly, but I love just working with my vibe and I'm getting a feel of the layout and it tells me what I, what's going on, <laughs> what works. So I'm just showing you how I function or how I use printables, what works for me. I like to pre-plan it before I even print them out. And the reason why I do that is just because if I'm going to duplicate items, if I'm going to use more than one, it's good to know before I start printing this stuff out. If I'm going to have some stamps, such as that blue there at the bottom, it is a digital stamp. Knowing that I can pre-plan and have, when I print it out, it's going to be there at the bottom. So just making sure I use all my products, including the printables and the digital stamps. All right, this is how the spread's going to look. Now we're moving off to the desk so that I can assemble it and complete it. And just the <laughs> beauties of editing, I have those all trimmed up now and ready to go. So I think the title for this spread is going to be Creeping It Real because that's exactly what it was. Let's talk about the photos now. So this is the collage of 4x6. I use the pick frame to make that happen and I print with my Canon selfie. And uh, yeah, so this day was when my toddler was playing with the Halloween decor. We have spiders and bats and he had so much fun playing with them and <laughs> until when you you either scream out like, ooh, or boo, right away he drops it and he's just like, oh, oh, it's real. I'm so sorry. <laughs> and he gets so scared and it's so funny because like he was just playing with it. You know, he was... <laughs> And it, you know, it, <laughs> you scare him and it, it's not a like, oh my God, I'll never touch it again because within five minutes he's at, back playing with it. It's just, I don't know. He just freaks out for a second. Like, oh, it's real. <laughs> I can't, I just, I'm laughing because his face expression, I have it in my head and uh, this is Halloween. I, that's a little sticker there on top. This is Halloween. It definitely is. It's just so funny. And, uh, I had to document it. I needed to have a little story to share this story, a spot. Here it is, all adhered down, and I love that clean look it has. But there's so much color and uh, of the Halloween colors, and it still looks clean. I think it has to do with the border around the picture as well. So, Just to add some accent and embellishments to this, I did grab out a small stamp that I have. It is a Heidi Swap stamp set, and it has the same type of uh, whimsical stars that are in this uh in this printable set so i just thought i'd bring it along and help accent this a little more to complete the spread i'm so sorry that you hear my bird in the background she's begging for something we just had breakfast so of course guys right here that impression did not come out with that stamp set i'm so thankful that it did and you can see like little black specks from the stamp i wanted to place uh, splatters but I was already committed with this spread. I did not want to do anything else. So this is how this spread comes out. And uh, yeah, I hope you got inspired to create. And as always, thanks for watching. Bye.